Good morning. <laughs> yes. We have definitely looked better. I look like something that fell out of a bush. I'm just lying in bed contemplating whether or not to go for a shower. And now I'm after seeing myself in the viewfinder, I'm like, girl, get yourself into that shower now. And I'm gonna go and see about calling to Damien. I'm sorry, there's like a hair on the lens. I have to go and see about calling to Damien, what time I can do that. Why is this lad still here as well? It's been like 1700 days still sitting on my face. I never slept in my Invisalign last night because I am the stupidest girl ever. I usually listen to like those story channels, you know, like reading like horrifying stories like that freak me out sometimes. But I always listen to them going to sleep. I just woke up and my iPad was still on playing stories because sometimes I go for the ones that are like three hours long. So you just have like a run of stories for hours. Then you wake up and you're like, who am I? Where am I? What's that noise? And then I try and turn off your iPad. So that's that was my scale last night. I don't know why I have black under eyes. You saw me take my makeup off last night. Like I did that. I don't know why I had panda eyes this morning. Okay, out of the shower. I exfoliated my skin with that new buff and stuff from buff stuff or whatever it's called from pennies. I always feel like my skin is so nice after it has like witch hazel and tea tree in it. So it kind of is real refreshing. You kind of feel like you're drowning sometimes because you're like, because <gasps> it's so cooling and stuff. So I, that's how I exfoliate my skin wet and it feels amazing. So I need to moisturize it now. This is the buff stuff. I said I may as well show you. I leave it in my shower. So I usually exfoliate my face like once a week in the shower. And this one has tea tree, like I said, and witch hazel. It's really, really good for oily or blemishing prone skin. I don't know what else is in it, but it's only two fifty from pennies and I was just saw it, picked it up in a whim, and I'm actually really enjoying it. I think it's actually a really good face scrub. Because I was enjoying that buff scrub thing, I thought that was the name of the range, but it's actually not, it's just the oil-free range. I got the Face the Day Oil-Free Moisturizer. This, again, has the tea tree and witch hazel in it too. I don't know how I feel about this. It is nice. But I feel like it might be a little bit overwhelming, like the tea tree. It's actually really good for my skin, the tea tree. But just sometimes I feel like myself, personally, I feel like overwhelmed with the amount of tea tree on the face and kind of smell it for hours. And sometimes it doesn't make me feel very well, you know, yourself with fragrances, especially if you suffer from headaches. Do you remember yesterday I was talking about my spare room? This is it currently. I just want to show you what I actually got. I don't even know if I can show you. It's really, really sunny. I bought studio stuff for the this room because I'm going to be turning this into kind of a studio room but I bought like a what you call it drop a drop back backdrops my god Ashley come on and this is the kit that holds them so I got a white backdrop a black one and a green screen and they come with like these kind of clamps and stuff that you put onto them I'm going to be obviously like setting that up I bought lights as well I'll show you them these are the lights on the bed this whole room has to be like redone but these are the lights this is all the lights obviously and these are this is actually the case of the soft boxes and these are the stands and i got the whole thing for like 150 euro off amazon so i'm really excited to kind of get stuck into that i need to kind of really revamp this room but just this room is a mess right now but just this is exciting for me more studio lights and backdrops and stuff as are obviously used to seeing this kind of back round in my videos so i just think maybe that might be something different i don't know what you guys are feeling about that but even still if you don't like like if you don't like the clutter then i could do like the green screen or black backgrounds white backgrounds whatever different backgrounds but if you guys think that this is nicer then i can keep this but make it like further away because i film so close to the window so i've just spent the whole day cleaning the house again i feel like that's all i am doing lately damien's actually gonna come over to me to visit me and then i'm gonna edit two videos and stick them up today still didn't get time to actually edit it because i went downstairs and i was like oh this house needs to be cleaned i better go and do that so i'm having the boringest day and looking at me walking around the house is probably extremely boring for you guys so today's vlog is gonna be a dull one not gonna lie. I feel really autumn-y today. Like the leaves are seriously changing on the trees right now. Like I'm looking out my window. It's really warm though. Like really, really warm. But all like the apples are coming out on our apple tree and all the leaves are changing colour. I love autumn. Favourite season bar none. Like it is my all-time favourite season of the year. I just love the feeling of it. I'm like yes! 
I'm in my element, loving the autumn season. So I'm gonna go down and boil the kettle to make some coffee. So I'm finally back editing. Damien just left, he's been here most of the afternoon. Jimmy's just out with his car right now, so me and Harley are here on the couch and my hair, wow. And I'm just editing tonight's video, tonight's vlog. Today's video actually that I uploaded was actually kind of fun, it was something different. And I explained in the video what it was about. Sorry, I'm just going onto my channel now to actually get the name of it. Oh yeah, new makeup and hot new products I want to buy. So I just went through, like when I was doing my anti-haul, anti-haul, like researching for it, just went through to kind of see like what products I didn't want to buy. I was stumbling upon like loads of products that I wanted to buy. I was like, oh, I actually really want to get that, get that and that. So I said I would put that into a video and you guys seem to really like it. I'm trying to like come up with kind of exciting new videos, like something different um, for you guys to watch because I don't want to keep doing the same like repeated videos I suppose and I have a get ready with me going up this week as well which I filmed yesterday but I just feel like for a change it's nice to kind of see different content on my channel I guess. Myself personally without like being rude towards any other beauty YouTubers out there sometimes I get a little bit bored of people's content even though I love them I just feel like the content is kind of samey and it's on everybody's channel and yes I will watch for certain people's personalities obviously that's natural I don't want my channel to become stagnant I understand they have lots and lots and lots of followers so people are gonna watch it regardless whereas I feel like I kind of have to like change my game up sometimes so that's what I am doing but do you ever like be watching somebody that you really like and it's maybe maybe a change in yourself or a change in their content or something or maybe the lack of change what is that on my cheek is that a little bit of fajita but you just feel like you're not as drawn to their channel as much anymore i just feel like i'm doing that like i feel like that a lot lately i'm starting to watch more vlogs i'm watching more chatty videos as well i feel like i'm like drifting away from the beauty videos because it's the same things all the time and there are people that i will watch no matter what like my favorite person at the moment to watch is the taylor i love casey holmes as always and chan xo obviously but then i'm finding that you know there's other beauty videos that i used to watch or people that i used to watch online i don't watch them at all anymore like 11th gorgeous i used to watch them all the time and they uploaded a video there three weeks ago and they were kind of saying they're pulling away from YouTube and I kind of can understand why like it's changed so much YouTube has I'm kind of sad to see them kind of pulling away but I, I you know I gather and understand that people change all the time it's weird because I used to religiously watch their channel and now they're kind of changing themselves pulling a little bit away from YouTube and it's just it's weird the way YouTube changes like from when I started uploading my very first videos to now it's like polar opposite and I just feel like instead of having to come up with um like generic thumbnails and generic kind of content you now have to kind of think outside the box and they have to be really different unless you have like tons and tons and tons of followers and I completely understand that because even myself I'm kind of looking for the new new interesting videos that are out now and that's why I uploaded that one new makeup or makeup that I want to try. I did like a beauty hacks video. I did like my top five and worst five palettes. So I just feel like they're more interesting. And they're things that I want to see. Especially from somebody that I enjoy watching. Like I'd love to know like what Shanix O's top five and worst five eyeshadow palettes are. I just find those videos really interesting. That's all. I, I don't know. I'm kind of ranting now at the moment. So now I'm kind of getting into my mindset of what do I want to watch as a viewer. What do you guys want to see. And kind of trying to think of different things and fun things some of them take so long to do like I know I want to do the test of my subscribers favorite makeup that is taking like so long because there's so many wonderful products that you guys have recommended to me and I'm just trying to compile them to make sure that they make sense because some people are recommending really deep lip colors and some people are recommending really bright eyeshadow palettes so I kind of have to make sure that they all mesh and work together it's gonna be so fun I can't wait for you guys to see it but I feel like if fun ideas like that I'm thinking up of all the time and I just I hope you guys really enjoy them because for me as a viewer I'd love to see these videos on other people's channels as well I just think they're really fun obviously I won't be like watching my own videos but I have to edit them but you know the way you don't sit down and watch your own videos because you know the content and I don't know I find that mortifying looking at myself even editing myself sometimes I'm like oh girl what are you saying you're talking rubbish so yeah that's just my whole thoughts on the whole thing trying to come up with fun 
ideas for you guys and videos that I think you would like to watch and videos that I would even like to watch. So I hope my content is interesting you lately. So I'm gonna get back into my editing of today's vlog, yesterday's vlog. Well, you'll see it today or tomorrow if you're watching this one. And then I will chat to you guys later.